Hello, in this video I will give you an overview of the Transana software program. Transana is a qualitative analytical tool that can, you can use to help you analyze your research that is captured in video or audio. With Transana you'll see that the window is laid out into four regions. You have a audio waveform region, a transcript, the video or media player, if you're using audio, it only show audio, and then your database down at the bottom. So let's look at the database. In the database, you have what is called a series, and a series is just a collection of, let's say, your interviews or your raw data. And then within every series, you have your episodes or your videos or audio media. And then every audio or media or video file will have a transcript or multiple transcripts and this is where you're gonna type uh, out verbatim or gestures or noises or whatever it is you're analyzing into the transcript so that's your series so I'm gonna skip down to keywords keywords is where you can group keywords that you can use to help you analyze your data the black keys are just keyword groupings, kind of like folders, containers for specific keywords. And the red keys are specific keywords. Now in Transana it only goes one level deep with keywords. So you can see as you look at employment colon business writer, we use the colon to separate the difference between employment and business writer or an employment slash computer professional. Um, you can come up with your own way of handling multiple layers within your themes, but the way we found that I do it is with the colon. The next section I want to look at is called collections. And when you first start Transana, you'll probably have a collection called Quick Clips. And Quick Clips is anytime you add a keyword to a passage of text, it automatically is put into the Quick Clips collection. And your collection is just a folder to hold your different pieces of video or audio that you've analyzed and sectioned out. Now here you can see we have multiple quick multiple collections. And you can this collection can end up mimicking your keyword tree list or it could be just showing you the different themes that you're finding within your data. And within each collection, you can have multiple collections. So you can see under argumentation I have also emotional and emotional is also looked at bandwagoning it works and max is sexy and within each of these collections will eventually be the videos that you've analyzed so if I double click on one of the videos instead of being the full raw data it is actually just that section of text that I have coded a certain way so speaking of coding with the keywords, when you notice anytime you select text or select a object in your database, you can see what keywords are immediately attached to that object here by clicking on the keywords. So now I will talk about the transcript window. Once you have created your database, added your videos, and begun adding transcripts, you will have a blank transcript on the left hand side in this big window. The transcript window is where you will type out your verbatim or gesture or other types of transcript and text that you're going to analyze. The important thing to remember about the transcript window is that this button here is the edit button. And without this button being depressed, you cannot type or add time codes into your transcript. So right now I cannot type into this transcript. But if I click this button, now is when I can begin to add text. Hopefully that is enough to get you started using Transana. Please review our other videos as I will go into more depth about how to use the database, the collections, keywords, and your transcript window more efficiently.